You know I me? Mean? Yeah. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for having me. See, the work we have been doing has been yeah. exciting, okay? We have learned so many things. We have learned so many skills, uh, especially, especially uh, CC Group for one uh, trained me in so many areas, okay? And I'm sure uh, they also trained you in so many areas. Uh, now you are doing something bank statement forensics and it's uh yeah it's it seems a little bit uh new okay but before going into that because okay. the 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 basis of of that work is the kind of charges that banks hand out to their customers okay so Tell, tell, tell my audience the various forms of bank charges they are in Nigeria in particular. What kind okay. of charges and fees that banks take away from customers? Okay. Um, basically, there, there is actually a, a wide array of uh, bank charges. And um, when you are talking about bank statement forensic audits, we shouldn't mm. um, narrow our mind to just bank charges. Okay. Because when you are doing, I'm, I'm still going to come back to bank charges, but I just okay. want yeah, to yeah, yeah, clarify. Yeah. It's good. Things. You are the experts. Okay. Yeah. Me, I'll be well, well, nobis. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we are talking about bank statement forensic audits, we are not just talking about bank charges. We are talking about, you know, a, the, a, a thorough forensic audit of the bank statement in terms of not just fees but also what is due to the client based on various agreements they might have. Like simple example of an agreement might be interest on daily balances, right? Okay. If, if banks do not adhere to the agreed interest on daily balances, right, um, it, it can be reviewed and um, they will be liable to pay, you know, with interest. And that's one thing that a lot of people do not know. Mm -hmm. They'll be liable to pay with interest. Now, when we're talking about bank charges, as I said, there's an array of charges, right? One, there are some statutory charges like um, um, current account maintenance fee, which is currently one per meal. When okay. I say one per meal, a, a layman will say, what do I mean by one per meal? One per meal simply means 1,000 divided by 1 million. Okay. So that is one per So approximately that's 0 0.001, right? Okay. Multiply Percentage, that, I, I guess. Okay. The amount involved. You understand? Okay. Yeah. So that is one of the most common forms of um, bank charges, which is the account, uh, current account maintenance fee. Now, okay. other charges um, include interest on loans, right? When a customer um, obtains a loan or a facility from a bank, yeah. um, obviously it's liable to pay interest on those facilities, depending on the kind of um, facility being obtained, whether it's a is a salary advance, is a is an overdraft, um, is a tenured uh, loan, and is a mortgage. You understand? All those kind of facilities attract different kinds of, of fees, yeah. right? And mind you, those fees are also negotiable and all okay. that stuff. So, um, you know, those are basic basic forms that the layman would obviously uh, be used to. Now. When we want to get a little bit advanced, we now start talking about uh, things like probably LC charges, yeah. right? That's on letters of credit and all yeah. that. I have to break it down so that non-bankers can also understand what I'm talking about. Mm. Uh, letters of credit are for, you know, uh, when you want to import and all that yeah. stuff. Import and, uh, yeah. It mm -hmm. can either be backed by cash or uh, uh, backed by a facility given to you by the bank, but obviously collateralized as well. So those are basic types of charges. Now, yeah. you also have charges that are related to recoveries. That means cost recovery on a particular okay. service. A typical example is your SMS charge. That's your SMS message charge. When you do a transaction on your account and the bank you know, sends you an SMS message, mm. they should not charge a couple higher or a couple less than 
what the service provider has charged the bank for that message being sent. That means if the service provider charged four naira for an SMS, which is what is obtainable currently, the bank cannot recover more than four naira. Now, recoverables. Other recoverables include checkbook issuance, um, um, you know, um, token issuance, right? Tokens that you use in validating your transactions that bring out your one-time passwords or one-time PIN and all that stuff. They are supposed to do, banks are supposed to charge you on cost recovery, how much they used in printing the checkbook or how much they used in producing the token. And mm -hmm. there are some charges also that are, uh, some services also that are totally free. For instance, if you are, if you are obtaining your statement of accounts, right, via email, banks are not supposed to charge you anything for it because it's fair email, right? Uh, it's, except you are requesting a copy of those statements, are they supposed to charge you? So there's an array. It depends on how deep we want to go into it yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. So I, I just give you an overview of the kind of charges okay. that we might, we okay. might have. Yes. So, so yeah. 